Hey founders, it's Tanya here from Nail the Numbers and I'm really excited about today's conversation because I think it's a conversation many of you um, are likely in a position to need to hear. And this is the conversation of compensation and more specifically what you as the founder need to be compensated um, every year. What is that amount that you want to budget for? Now, in Canada, according to a recent survey by Payscale, the average small business owner is earning approximately $69,000 a year. If we break that down, that uh, works out to approximately $33, I think it's 33 some an hour, or $5,900 uh, per month. Now, in contrast to that, when we think about the roles and responsibilities that we have in our business, if we take that title and switch it over to general manager, the average general manager in Canada is earning approximately $127,000. And the average CEO in Canada is earning $555,000. So we got a lot of contrast from 69 all the way up to 555. So how do you as a founder actually kind of nail down and lock in on what that compensation needs to be? It's interesting. I'm going to give you three different perspectives today. And for some of you, you may not know, but my background is actually in lending. And in the lending world, after looking at hundreds of cash flow forecasts, one of the most common questions I got asked from the founder is, I'm not exactly sure what you want to see, dear lender. And so I'm going to flip the tables here today and I'm going to put you in the position of making the decision. So again, no right or wrong answers, just three different perspectives from which you can better gauge how you want to budget for your number specifically. All right. So the first perspective from the lender. So the lender's perspective, just so you know, they know they've been around the block enough to know that the business is only going to be as healthy as the founder is. Right. So if you're struggling and stressed, the business is going to be struggling and stressed. So typically what a lender wants to see is not only your business budget, but they want to see your personal budget as well. They want to see a forecast of all anticipated income right from all those income sources outside of your business income, like what the business is going to pay you. And then they want to see a list of all of your expenses, including debt repayment. They expect to see on your business budget that you are going to be extracting a wage that is going to be able to ensure that you, um, you are able to fulfill your financial obligations, your necessities, right? So if you need to be making 2,500, they expect to see that. If you need to be making 5,600, they expect to see that. So they want to see that you're covering off your financial necessities based on what you need in your household um, budget, your personal budget. Does that make sense? That's the perspective of the lender. Then the next perspective is that of the CEO. Now, many of you don't see yourself as the CEO, but you should. You are the chief executive officer, and your primary job in your business is actually to create a healthy, viable business investment and a entity, an asset in which all stakeholders, your clients, your crew, yourself, they are all benefiting, right? They're all taken care of. So in order to do that, I always, you know, when I'm working with our founders, I always ask them, I always suggest to them that they position their mindset as though they're about to walk into a board meeting and they have to defend the expenses and the costs and the income that they are uh, projecting. So when it comes time to budget for your salary as a CEO, I want you to think about what is the fair market value for the role. So in many cases, you can look at, okay, is it a general manager role? If you had to hire someone to come in and replace you, and that might be several people, right people, right rate, right role, how much would you need to budget for? That's thinking like the CEO. So you can look at things like Glassdoor and Payscale, ZipRecruiter. There's lots of different, uh, lots of different apps out there and websites that you can go to to get a better understanding of in your market, in your industry, what is the average paycheck for this particular role. So that's from the perspective of the CEO. 
The last perspective, maybe arguably the most important perspective, is from the perspective of the financially fierce founder. So the financially fierce founder is budgeting not only for fair market value, but also for what they need to bring home. So let me just clarify this. The lender is looking for your, 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 your basics, just your necessities on your, um, on your personal financial side. The Financially Fierce Founder, if you haven't done it yet, please sign up for our Wake Up Call Challenge. I think it starts on March 22nd. But the Wake Up Call Challenge, it's actually building your personal budget from the bottom up. And it is going to show you that if you need to account for your retirement needs, your debt repayment needs, your saving account, including all of your spending and sharing, aka taxes, how much do you need to be earning every month, right? So we've got two different numbers there. That one I called the baseline budget. It's called the stronghold budget. If you really had a grasp on your true financials, including retirement, investments, savings, how much would you be bringing home monthly? So the financially fierce founder accounts for both what is the fair market wage, and then if they need um, if they need more money above and beyond that fair market wage, that gets uh, that gets budgeted as a bonus, right? AKA a dividend. So there you go. You've got three different perspectives from the lender where it's just, let's make sure your necessities are covered from the CEO's perspective, which is what is the fair market value? And then we've got the, from the financially fierce founders perspective, which is not only what do I deserve to make in this role, but what do I need to be bringing home from a stronghold perspective to ensure my financial security, not just now, but into the future. So hope that makes sense for you. The bottom line is this in all of this conversation, that a lot of people think of a budget as just an estimate of income and expenses out. But the truth is your bottom line is your, or sorry, your budget is your, um, it is your financial plan. It is your yellow brick road. It shows you how you get from where you are now to where you need to be. So if you're not budgeting for your compensation, how can you expect that compensation to grow? You've got to start. It's not about saying that you're going to earn $555,000 in this next coming year. And maybe you will. I don't want to shortchange you. But we've got to show that scaled growth. All right. That's Tanya signing out, but reminding you that you need to know your numbers if you're going to nail them. So give budgeting your compensation a try. We'll see you on the next call. Bye for now.